What's up, everybody? This is Chili Mostly, a.k.a. the coolest man on YouTube. What it do? What it do? What it do? So today is September 11th, 2015. But this video, I want to speak about September 11th, 2001. And it's a lot of weird shit. It's a lot of uh, coincidences, and it's a sneaker involved. You feel me? So, that's how we gonna rock. Outfit down. Jesus to the flow. Oh, God. Don't do it to him. All right, so, without further ado, we're gonna get into it. Check me out. All right, so I wanted to start off with this shot right here. White Escalade. Fire Red Fives, the, the 2000 version, and all this shit means something, you know what I'm saying, I'm showing you for a reason, so we got, the, the, these are from uh, 2000, I think, early 2000, see that, see that, so you know, these still wearable too, these ain't crumbling, like everybody else shit. They foggy to them up from an air bubble. But I'm going to tell you a story about this shoe. And how it uh, relates to 9-11. Alright, so. Um, you know, I, back then when 9-11 happened, I lived in Delaware. Now, Delaware is probably, you know, a hundred and something miles away from New York. So, you know, it was, uh, you know, it was very much a part of my life as it was New York and New Jersey and people, you know, things like that. So, in 2000, these came out, I think early, like January or February or something like that. Now, my little thing I used to do was I would go to JCPenney and buy sneakers because a lot of people didn't know you can buy sneakers. Oh, shit. I got bugs and shit out there. But a lot of people didn't know you, you can get dope sneakers at JCPenney. So they would uh, have, like, you know, all the, uh, you know, all the hot shit. So Easter comes around, and it's time for me to get a new pair of shoes. Now, mind you, these came out, like, in January or February, and Easter is in, what, March or April? April. So in April, I went to JCPenney, and they had these. Now, at the time, I didn't like fives because I didn't like the tongue. I was like, oh, man, the tongue's. They're like too big, you know what I mean? I didn't like big tongues or nothing like that back then. So, when I seen these in the store, I was kind of like, eh, whatever. You know, I wanted a pair of Jordans, so I got them. Now, we go to school, you know, following Easter break. First day we get to school, I get locked up in school. <laughs> I got locked up for fighting, right? And the crazy part is, I never even laid hands on a boy. The boy was trying to fight. Well, the boy, out, you know, it was kind of like one situation where I was fucking with him. He got mad. He tried to fight me. I realized he couldn't fight, so I didn't swing on him. He grabbed me, so I slammed him. And when I slammed him, he, like, busted his head and shit and had head contusions and all this crazy shit. But I wound up getting arrested in school that day. First time I wore these shoes. So I was like, man, damn, like, these shoes must be bad luck, you know what I'm saying? Because I was cool, like, I wasn't like, you know what I mean, just fighting niggas and shit. So, skip forward, I never wore these shoes again, all right? I was like, man, you know what, I'm done with them, I don't even like them like that, you know what I mean? Fuck it, I ain't wearing them no more. So, come 2001, now this is when I'm in uh, 11th grade, so I bought these when I was in 9th grade. And I didn't wear them again until I was in 11. So, what wound up happening is, that day, September 11, 2001, I decided to wear these shoes. So, when I put these shoes on, I come to school, everything's cool. Next thing you know, we're getting all these announcements, and we're getting all these, uh, all the teachers are cutting the TVs on, and they're talking about, you know, 
terrorism happening in the United States. You know what I'm saying? That was like, you know, they had stuff back when I was like real young happened, but that was the first time when I was like of age to really understand what was going on. So the whole school was like going crazy, like thinking, because, you know, a lot of people's parents and shit worked in the World Trade Centers, you know, that like went to my school and shit. So everybody's like crying, trying to call their moms and dads and things like that. And the teachers is calling their family members and everything. So we want to get let out of school early. So that was like a crazy day. So I wore these shoes two times in my life. And two times bad things have happened. I've never worn them again. But I've kept them. I've kept them as a reminder of like, you know, just like, you know, bad things can happen. And you always got to be prepared for it. You always got to be ready to, you know, do what you got to do in a situation. So I keep these shoes around just to, like, you know, remind me of those bad times and that bad era. And, you know, let me say rest in peace to everybody who perished in that 9-11, you know, incident. You know what I'm saying? And whether it was a conspiracy, like people say Bush did it, or whether it was terrorism, whatever it was, but... You know, it's rest in peace to all those people. You know what I mean? Because it's very sad. And uh, I know a lot of people that's viewing this video is younger. So y'all probably was like, you know, children when 9-11 happened. Some of y'all might not even been born. <laughs> Real talk. So I don't even know. But, you know, I just thought this was like a, a funny story to tell. And, oh, this is why I showed you the Escalade. So let's back up. Let's look at the, let's look at the truck again. When I went and bought these shoes at that time, my dad had a white Escalade. You know, he had like a 2000 or a 99 or 2000 or something. I don't know. He had a white Escalade. And now when I'm doing this video, what, 15 years later or something? Almost 15 years later, I'm in a white Escalade. You feel me? So that's kind of crazy. And, you know, so I, don't, I never wore these shoes again. I never will wear them again. But... I won't sell them either. I'm just, I just keep them. Just sitting in the junk. You know what I mean? So you look at all this shit like, I don't even know what's going to show. You know, you see you got Nike on here. Like, these are the 2001 junk. I mean, the 2000s, man. Like, people would be paying like crazy money for these. Not can easily sell it. These are in great condition. And another reason I was kind of hesitant on ever wearing these is because, look, it came with a factory floor. This is back in the day, and they were still doing that dumb shit. And these shoes done made it through so many moves. You know what I'm saying? I done moved to so many different places and shit since then. And uh, they still hanging around, man. So, you got the Fire Red Fives, Metallic Tongues, 2000 version. It uh, To me, it symbolizes 9-11 because that's when I felt like these shoes, just something wasn't right with them. And I just couldn't fuck with them no more. But I still keep them around, man. So, hope y'all enjoyed this video, man. It's just a quick video. Just remember 9-11 and everybody that perished. And for you younger kids that really didn't experience that, it was crazy. You know what I'm saying? Even in Delaware, all the smoke from when the towers fell came to Delaware. Like, we had clouds of smoke in the sky for like three or four days straight. From, from uh, all the debris from the buildings and everything, you know what I'm saying? So it was real, real to me. You know what I mean? Like, we, we got left out of school early. Everybody was in a panic. Everybody was trying to get home. I thought they was going to blow up Delaware. It was crazy, man. But that's all I really got to say, man. It's your boy Chile Chips. And on the real ain't real. You know I always keep that still. <laughs> but, yo, I'm going to sign out, y'all. Peace.